What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Royal Flash Pinball series. Today we're taking a look at the back box. So obviously, or maybe not, this is the back box to the machine. And I'll take you around back and kind of give you a quick overview of what's going on back here. So normally your back box would have a cover either metal or wood back here covering everything up. It kind of fits up against this slot and then it has a little key. I'm not sure where mine would... Oh, up here. It would have a key that would lock that shut. Mine doesn't have it, which is actually not a big deal for home use. It makes it easier to get in here and um, adjust things or repair things if needed. So what we have... Let's take a look around front actually for a second. And that'll help us understand what's going on behind this. So, at the upper left, I'm describing this as if we're in the back. We're going to have the second player score reels. You've got your ones, your tens, your hundreds, and your thousand score reel. Those go zero through nine. And then the same thing for player one here. We've also got, across the top, and I'm going to have to explain this... Um, in more detail because my back glass is flaking a little bit so you're not able to necessarily see what things are labeled um, so I'll let you know what those are and maybe if you've got your own royal flash with an even worse back glass than this one this will be helpful to you so across the top we're gonna have 10 lights we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 all the way up through 9 and what those are are the match lights so at the end of the game when the last digit of your score, so this would be a zero right now, let's say we had uh, 600 points, 600. Zero, zero. If the zero matched with the zero, and there's a random uh, number that will come up, so the last ball drains, random number comes up, if it was zero and matched zero, you would have gotten the match, and that would step up the replay unit with one free game. In the same way, if this was a 7, and a 7 lit up, you'd get a free game. And you also get a knock along with that, so that's kind of fun. This also has the double match feature, and so at some times, two numbers will light up. You'll get maybe a 2 and a 6. If your number is either a 2 or a 6, you have twice the chance that it will match. So that's what the top row is. Moving down... To the left of player one and to the right of player two, these are the tilt lights, and you can barely see the, num the letters T I L T. It's really hard to tell. And this is um this is on the screen, the silk screen behind the color screen, and so it's even harder to see from the front side. So anyway, those lights will light if you tilt the machine, which we kind of talked about on the last video. Moving down, you've got the little replay window. This uh, steps all the way up, I believe all the way up to 20. It could go higher, let's take a look. All the way up to 28 on the replay unit. So that's simply the number of games that you have, which again, as I mentioned on the last video, doesn't make as big of a difference with a free play machine. Winning free games doesn't matter when all the games are free. On the lower left, this would be if you had the add a ball version of the machine. This would say um, something like shoot added ball now, and then these lights would light. Mine is not that, but it has the same back glass and back board uh, as if it did. So these light sockets are empty, but on an add a ball machine, those would have lights, and there'd be different wording on the glass. We've got our lit cards that we discussed line up with the lit targets down here on the play field. And then on the right, the lower right, we have our ball number, so ball in play. And this is kind of a unique order here. It doesn't go 1 through 5 in order. It goes ball 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then above that is game over. So the reason I say that is if you're working on your own Royal Flash and you're trying to confirm like I was which light is lighting up and does it correspond with the correct ball, that's why I'm telling you that. So lower left, one, two, then all the way to the right, three, back to the left, four, and five. One thing I forgot to mention, 
Up here we have our one or two can play. This is for how many players you have. So for one player, you'll hit the button and one will light. And then when you switch to two player mode, the second will light there. So let's take a look around back at how all of this functions. And good luck that I'm going to be able to tell you how this functions. But I'll again reference the other video that I linked in part two highly encourage you to go watch that for a more detailed description on the actual mechanics of how things are working, or the electronics, I should say. So here, as I mentioned, we've got our score reels, and these are kind of nice. Um, they'll just remove a screw on top and bottom, and this whole reel slides out. There's enough excess wiring for you to pull that reel out and work on it. Then below that, we have our replay unit. This is kind of cool over here. Using Jones plugs, we can adjust at what high score you earn a free game. And I'm about to do that now, actually. I'll do it off camera so I don't make a mistake, but I'll show you in the schematic how the yellow and red wires correspond to different scores, and then the jacks, one through nine, are how you set whether you have, uh, like currently, I have a free game set for 600 points. And the reason being is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600 points is where that jack is. So that's kind of neat. You can actually change the game through the physical connection of where that wire is. You can also change whether the game is in 3-ball or 5-ball by moving this jack. It's really nice that this stuff is um, labeled. Here you can affect uh, what the tilt does. And so right now I have the tilt to end the game for that player. If you moved it over here, you would end the ball that's in play for that player. Then as we said, the replay unit. Over here we have the uh, player control units. And so this is used to step up. Uh, for example, if you have one or two players or step between the two. So go from player one to player two, back to one to two and so on. The ball count unit does sort of the same thing. Uh, but it affects whether you have ball one, two, three, four, five, etc., and so on. And then down here is just our Jones plugs to um, translate or to uh, can't think of the word to make the connection between all of the wiring up here and the wiring down in the play field. So that's a way where if you wanted to remove your back box completely, you could pull these connections and it would be able to separate. So that's pretty nice, too. So that's about it. Other than that, we've just got um, some score coils. So based on the, the value of points that you're earning, these will energize. I can't quite read. There we go. So that's the 100 to 900, the 10 to 90, and so on. So that's uh, if you score 100 points down on the play field, this will energize and turn the 100-point reel and so on. So that's basically it in the back box. The last thing I wanted to do is take you over to the schematic and show you the changes I'm about to make to the score. Okay, so here we are looking at the schematic, and this is the section that discusses how to adjust the score adjustment jack. You can see that the yellow wire, there should be a pair of yellow wires, and I think I actually have more than that, so we'll have to figure that out. But that is to adjust your 1,100 to 2,000 point um, replay score. So we're going to work on that. And then below that, the yellow red wire is for the 100 to the thousands. And I'm learning myself uh, exactly how this is going to work. But I do know at the moment, and we can confirm this, at 6, 8, and 1,000 points, I've got free games. So we're going to make adjustments and see if it changes to what we think it will. But I'll take you over to the machine, we'll turn it on, and I'm going to run through that to show you how it functions, and then we'll make the adjustment and see if it actually worked. So I've got a, a new game loaded up, a one-player game. We're on ball one. And I actually have the glass off right now, so all I'm going to do is manually work my way around and touch targets to give us some points. So we're going to get 50 there. You can see the replay unit is at 12. 
I'm going to go ahead and give us a royal flash here for 200. Now, we're still at 12 on the replay. I'm going to hit a 10 point target. So what would that be? Actually, we don't have a 10 pointer, but we have a 20. Let's give it a 20 and watch and listen what happens here. So we got two things, we got the knock, and then we also got our free game. So that means we have a 600 point free game at the moment. So let's get some more points. There we have a 700 point free game. An 800 point. And a thousand point. So what was that? Six, seven, eight, and thousand. So if we step around here to the back box again and take a look, we have six, seven, eight, and thousand. That's where our jacks are at at the moment. So let's go ahead and move these. And I'm actually going to look back at the schematic and see what the yellow wires did. Because I think it's kind of odd that there's only one yellow wire in use, or not even. These, are, these over here are just storage. These aren't connected to anything, but over here they are. So I need to figure out what these are going to do and what difference it makes. So let me do a little studying, move things around, and I'll show you the difference. Okay, I think I've got it figured out. I think what it is, is the yellow wires are for 1,100 to 2,000 point free games. And so because none of those yellow wires are in use, if I score up to 2000 at this point, we likely, if I'm right, will not earn a free game. So let's look at this. We're at 16 on the free games. We're going to go all the way up to 2000 now. And there, at 1600, we earned a free game. I think reason being is that was our 600 point um, wire earning us a free game, which to me doesn't make sense why there's a difference between the yellow and the red. So if you know, and you wouldn't mind uh, explaining this down in the comments, I would sure appreciate it. But I'm pretty sure at the moment, what we're gonna do is just move our red wires to where we want those. So at the moment they're at six, seven, eight, and a thousand. I think I'm gonna give us a little bit lower high score free game. So I'm actually gonna unplug the machine. I don't like to make changes when it's powered on. Give you some light. So let's go from a 600 point free game to maybe a, uh, oh, let's go 300 points. I think it's fun to get a knock, and uh, obviously providing a knock at a lower score is kind of fun. So we've got a three, let's go for five. And then I think I like, yeah, we'll go for three, five, eight and a thousand. That sounds pretty good to me. So let's plug it back in and see if it worked. Okay, here we are again. Things are reset. We're on ball one, zero points, and 16 replays. So we should have a 300 point free game coming. There you go. Then what else did we do? Five, eight, and a thousand. So let's head up to 500 points now. There we go. How about eight and a thousand? Perfect. And one more time at a thousand. Now we missed our thousands I think reason being is the the other colored wire affects your thousand point scoring. 
And so I'm going to need to take a look into that. But again, if you've got more information, I would sure appreciate it for a little bit of explanation on what is the difference between the yellow set of wires and the red set of wires for scoring purposes. So anyway, that's all I've got for today. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any comments or questions down below, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, so let's take a look around the back box here. And I've got the glass back on the machine now, so we're going to have a hard time scoring major points. But I wanted to just show the way that I've got it set currently is to match what the scorecard says. And so the red wires are for scores from, what is it, 100 to 1,000. And then the yellow wires are from 1,100 up to 2,000. And so looking at this... If we count down, we should have a 1200 because we're in the second slot with a yellow wire, a 1600, and a 2000, and then uh, right there we have an 800 with a red wire. So let's go see if that matches. Yep, so uh, 800, 12, 16, and 2 should be when we get our replays. So good luck getting that kind of score <laughs> with the glass on, but I'll give it a shot. I've got it in five ball now. And so on the next video, which I'll try to get up very quickly after this one, I'll just show gameplay and I'll put you up on a tripod and we'll play five balls a couple different times and see what we can do. So stay tuned.